Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, making a quick video to show you step-by-step -step how to install the new Hertz cutting kit for 2014 and newer Harley-Davidson Road Glide, Street Glide, Ultra, or Electro Glide. So uh, there's three different variations of this as far as part number. It's basically a cutting kit by itself, a cutting kit with the proper wiring to run to the back, or all of that included with the Hertz SX690 Neos. I'm not gonna go over all those part numbers, but they're all available at volunteeraudio.com and very easy to find with a quick search for Hertz Cut Kit. All right, so uh, stick with us as I show you how to install this step-by-step. -step. This video is brought to you by volunteeraudio.com, your number one source for all things Harley-Davidson audio, from individual radios, speakers, and amps, to complete plug-and-play amp and speaker systems, we've got you covered. And once you've ordered your package from Volunteer Audio, it includes lifetime tech support. And we have the very best step-by-step -step installation video so you can install it yourself and save money. All right, so first step in preparation of installing a cut kit is gonna be mounting our template. Before even that though, we're gonna tape off the top of the lid to make sure there's no way we scratch anything. We also wanna empty our bag so that after you're done, you can just simply vacuum out any of the shavings that go in there. It doesn't get all mixed up in your belongings. So we're gonna take some painter's tape. They make this in various widths. The key is we just wanna cover the entire surface where our template's gonna go to make sure that we don't scratch any of our paint. You're just going to run it off a little longer than the front. Make sure that you cover the full edge where we might be cutting with our saw. It doesn't have to be super precise, but we don't want to leave any major mounds to, to move our cut kit into the wrong location. Right, now I'm going to cut, put a couple pieces on the back side just around where the latch area is. All right, so that should be plenty of tape. So next we're gonna take our cut kit and you're gonna see now that it actually wraps around three sides. And we're just gonna make sure that this line, see there's a body line right here on your lid and you can see where that ridge is. We wanna make sure that this is fully, the front part is fully on the front edge of the lid as well as that's matched up. We're gonna take a drill and we're gonna put three screws in here to hold it in place while we cut it. All right, so we've got our template in place. We've made sure our body line is matched up. The front edge is where it goes. Now we're just gonna put a self-tapping screw, just any kind of screw holding it to the lid. Now one thing, currently the kit doesn't come with these. I'd say they'll add them later, but it's, it's a very, very new kit at this point. Now all we're doing is securing this so while we're cutting, this template won't move around on us. So the next step, we're gonna take a drill. We're gonna pre-drill some holes to get our saw blade in so we can cut this out. Now on this particular kit, it has three sharp 90 degree turns. We're not gonna try to make that with our saw blade. So I'm gonna drill a pre-drilled hole on each one of these areas so we don't have to try to make that turn. So one here up on the top. And the key is just to make it big enough your blade fits in and give you room to get your saw out to that line to cut. But we don't want it so big that it gets outside of this area. So the idea is we're gonna take our saw now, we're gonna drop our blade in, and we're gonna trace or cut this outline. Now it's a pretty wide area here, but we're gonna cut the very outside edge. We're gonna try not to cut into the black plastic other than when we cross into each one of these sections. But if you'll go on the very outside edge, we find that this cut kit fits perfectly. I've installed quite a few of them before I ever make a video and tell you anything about it. I wanna do it first. And I will tell you, it seems like if we actually straight up just come straight in with our cuts and make a perfect 90, that the corners fit better as well. So my tool of choice when I'm cutting out a lid kit is to use a one-handed, what they call Sawzall. Uh, Milwaukee makes this one, it's called a Hacksaw specifically because it's the one-hand version. And a lot of you asked me about this blade. So this is a jigsaw style blade. Milwaukee actually calls it uh, a metal scroll blade. Now it's for metal or plastic. And the part number is a 48-00-5162. 
Kind of hard to find. I think we picked these up at Home Depot, Ace Hardware, those kind of places. Uh, but I can't find them seemingly in any other brand, but great, we love our Milwaukee tools. Uh, but I wanted to make sure and cover that because I know you're gonna ask below, where do I get that blade? All right, so we're just gonna drop our blade into the hole that we've pre-drilled and we're gonna start following this pattern. All right, so as you saw, I dropped in this hole and I tried to follow this as straight as I can. When I get to these little plastic areas, you're just gonna cut straight through them. Now when I get, got to the corner, I just did a straight cut and I stopped. You definitely wanna stop, don't go too far because under here is the latch cable that comes out to our lock mechanism. So definitely don't cut any further than what you see here on the end of this, just going to a 90. Let's go the other direction and go ahead and get it cut out. All right, so if you slightly cut the edge of the black plastic template, you're gonna be okay, because we have about a quarter inch of gasket that goes all the way around here. So it's not super precise, but I will tell you, if you cut too far in, you're not gonna be able to get it to fit without a whole bunch of sanding or additional cutting at the end of it. So now I'm just gonna to continue to go back the other way. Get this tur pack out of my way here. You'll see that normally I rest my hand on the template as I'm cutting, and I do that because as I'm cutting through each one of these, these are becoming separate from each other. I just wanna make sure it stays where I want so our cut stays pretty accurate. And as we get up here, you gotta be really careful because once you cut through here, you're no longer connected in templates. We're gonna hold it with our hand. All right, so once you've cut all the way around, you're gonna find out that that section is now loose. We're gonna remove our top piece. We're gonna see if there's anywhere that we might have maybe transition cut and, and left something a little higher. But we're also gonna take our other part of our cut kit, the outer part, we're just gonna test fit it in a hole and make sure that everything clears. This is probably one of the most precise and most uh, close fitting cut kits that we've had from any manufacturer. It is gonna be an exact, exact fit to that outside line. So you may see there's a little additional sanding or trimming you have to do in the corners to make sure that when you tighten it down, that none of these try to poke out where they're not fitting into the lid. If you see that, stop what you're doing, take it out and sand a little bit more in those corners, making yourself just a little bit more room. All right, so now that we've got it cut, before we take our tape off, just in case we have some additional trimming to do, take your top part of your cut kit, I want you to fit it into the hole and go ahead and open it up and check on the backside and see how much area you have. You should see that the gasketed area is touching and that the plastic portion that is recessed in, specifically this part, is not causing it not to fit flush. So if it feels like it's doing right, we can go ahead and untape it. We'll vacuum up our mess and we'll start putting this together and see how it fits. All right, so we're just gonna untape it and see how everything fits together. So you could spend a lot of time now sanding this edge and smoothing it out. I definitely want you to make sure there aren't any burrs or anything sticking up that would cause it to not seal. But in reality, there's a quarter inch lip on both sides. So this does not have to be perfect. Don't try to get it absolutely perfect. You're gonna waste a lot of time. Uh, but when it sandwiches over it, all of that's gonna be hidden. And the more plastic we leave here, the more air we have sealing to make sure we don't get water inside the bag. All right, so one thing that Hertz does that I haven't seen any other company do is they've actually put us some brass inserts into the grill and they've given us these machine screws to go into it. Most of the other companies are just gonna give you a coarse thread screw to go into some plastic. Problem is if you really over tighten them, they're just gonna strip out. In this case, as long as you get them started good and straight, you can tighten them down until they bottom out. You'll feel that it gets really snug, and then you can stop there giving you a much better seal. So we're gonna line up our outside, and we're gonna put our inner portion in here. Now you're gonna see it's a very, very tight fit, the way that it goes around all of this factory uh, cable that runs through here. So we're gonna push it in this way, drop down the front, and I want you to go ahead and start one of the easier screws to get to. So this front corner one is normally the one that we have an easier time starting. We're just gonna put just a couple threads in it. We don't wanna tighten it much at all because this might need to slide around slightly to line the other ones up. 
We're then going to go to our other front corner screw. See what it takes to get it started. Just a couple threads in. We've got it in now. Now we're going to have to push this back down. You saw I just pushed it down in there to make a better, better fit. These screws are pretty short, so until we get them pushed closer, you're not going to have these start. Let's see if we can get this back one to start some. These back ones can be a little harder because now we're trying to line up everything into the hole as well as fitting within the parameter they've left us here around this latch. All right, so I feel that that one has started. We have one more before we tighten any of them down. We're going to come out here, make sure that it starts as well. All right, so now that they're all started, I'm just going to work my way around, tightening them up. And you're going to feel as you tighten them, they're going to come to a point where it feels like all of a sudden you have some resistance that you didn't have against it, and they're tight. So they've done a really good job of designing it where the two pieces of plastic really just pull against each other and bottom out so you're done. So you're not trying to judge how tight to go with these. We're just going to go till they bottom out. And then you're going to stop because it is brass. You could strip that as well, but much harder than stripping the plastic. All right, so we're fully tied on that one. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to check and make sure that our gaps and everything looks good. It's sealed really, really well. Uh, next step, we'll put a gasket on the back side, and I'll show you real quick how to mount the speaker to it. Next step, Hertz is going to give you one of these gaskets. They've already made this fit perfectly with the SX690 Neo 6x9. All right, so they're going to send out this gasket, which you're going to have to put in the right place after you get it installed. We're just going to line up each one of our holes. Once you've got a couple of the holes lined up, before you really press it down, make sure that this part of the gasket is right over where the speaker is going to ride. Just do that one hole at a time. We'll see here, I lined up the back one. Now I've got to move this one out and make sure it lines up and lays right on that that area where the speaker is going to be pulled in. Because we want this to be watertight and proper gasket placement is going to be crucial in that. Same thing on this side. You're going to see that I have to move this gasket out and lay it on top of that ridge. Once I get it out on that ridge, I'm going to press it down to make sure we get a good solid stick. Same thing on the back. Make sure it's lined up and stick it. All right, next step is really simple. So some of our other cut kits we use with the Hertz speakers, we have to install a gasket around. We just did that process. It's very, very easy. I want you to take your speaker with your terminals facing inward and just set it in here on your cut kit. You'll see it fits and matches up perfectly. We're going to take the screws that come with the Hertz speaker and just by hand start each one of these. Run it in kind of snug, but not quite tight yet. Do this by hand as well. I don't recommend drilling in. Uh, these are going into plastic. It's a really thick plastic, so you're probably not going to strip it. But we want, don't want to go so tight that we pull through the mounting holes on the speaker either. So no spacers required, no special gaskets need to be added, and it's a super, super easy fit because these were 100% designed for the Hertz SX690neo. So now I'm on the last one. I'm going to go ahead and pull it on in tight. Go back up to my front one and do the same thing. It's kind of going snug. We're not going to want to try to strip it out. We're not going to pull it through. All right, so we've got a nice gasket between our inside of our cut kit and our lid. Now we've just put a nice gasket between that inner cut kit and our speaker. So we're gonna get all of our sound out here without letting water get into our bag. Now we've done plenty of other step-by-step -step videos covering how to do the wiring on your 6 by 9s that are available at volunteeraudio.com under our step-by-step -step install video. So go there and check out the wiring. I'm not gonna repeat that again in today's video. We've got a lot of bikes to build. I don't have a whole lot of time to go over it. But as you see, the end result looks amazing. I love the design of the new Hertz Cut Kit. And so far, it seems like all of you have as well. 
And uh, they're in stock at Volunteer Audio, ready to ship out in all of our stage packages uh, that include the Hertz SX690neos. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. When you do that, YouTube's gonna move it up in search results. It's gonna help us be seen. It helps Volunteer Audio, and we really appreciate you for doing that. Subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the latest audio for your Harley Davidson, as well as plenty of step-by-step -step videos, our walkaways of installs we've done, some of the customers we get to work on are awesome as well. So definitely watch those videos so you can see these future things from Volunteer Audio and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be quick to reply back. And thank you so much. And as always, God bless.